Hi everybody. Today we're going to look at how to move things out of your Shared With Me folder into your Google Drive folder. There are a couple of reasons that you might want to do this. The first is that you can't organize files in the Shared With Me folder, which really can become frustrating if you have a large number of files in there. You also can't sync up files with your local computer the way you can with My Drive, which clearly points to the advantages of moving your files from the shared folder into your proper drive. The easiest way to move files over is just select the file you want to move, and then click Add to My Drive. Now it is important to note that it will stay in the Shared With Me folder while also being placed in your drive. Another way to move things over is to drag and drop the name of the file over to the desired location on your left-hand menu. The advantage of this is that you can drag them into specific folders that you may have already built into your organizational structure in Drive. So to move this file to a folder, I just click and drag, drop it into this folder here, and there it is. Now this gets just slightly more complicated when you start sharing entire folders with someone. Adding a complete folder is easy. You can just use the Add to My Drive method or drag it to its intended destination. If you only need certain items from that folder, you don't want to move the file out of the folder, or you can create issues with the existing share permissions. So to overcome this, you need to know a little trick. When you try dragging an individual file over, you're going to get a warning message letting you know that you're going to be removing it from the shared folder. This is going to create issues with sharing. However, if you hold down your control button on PC or option key on Mac while doing this, you can drag it in and see this message down here which tells you it was just added to the new folder. It doesn't remove it from the current folder but just adds it to the new destination. You'll see we still find it here in the original folder, but when we move to the destination, it's also present. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section below. Have a great day.